still got requirement. Well, no, it's a requirement for you. I mean, I mean, first of all, let me, let me well, take like, back. I mean, it's just, it's just um, to me, the way I see things, as time and on, I just see it like, you get what you get. I mean, so, if you live in a certain type of way, or you live in like a savage, the type of thing you call the city, I live the whole life, you know, positive, you balance it out the negative and the positive, uh -huh. then you should, you should be all right. Okay, yeah, you should. Did you know that you're on the curse right now? Yeah. Did you know that? Did you know that? I mean, but that's based on what? Based on, based on who says that? Based on the covenant that we made and that we broke with our God. Give me Deuteronomy uh, to us, 2860. Read for me. He's going to show you. See, we on the curse. The Most High God said because we disobeyed him, he said we're gonna go by we're gonna go back into slavery by means of slave ships. 1619. We came over here in 1619 on slave ships, right? Yeah. So the most high God said that's gonna be a sign and a wonder that we are God's chosen people. Because it was only one nation of people that came over here in America on slave ships. What nation of people was that? Right, so-called blacks and Hispanics, right? Read that up. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. So we came over here, brother, on slave ships, cargo slave ships. We was packed on top of each other. Our sisters had their menstrual cycles bleed, you know, bleed on top of each other, pissing on top of each other, defecating on top of each other. We were stacked on those slave ships like, like sardines. We were stacked on top of each other like sardines, like a sardines in the can. Right? And the, fire, the stench was so bad from us defecating and hearing on each other for the past three, four months on the bottom of the cargo ships, they can smell us three or four days before we got to America. They can smell it in the wind. That's how bad it was. You see? Breathe. Well, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Most of our God said, thou shalt see it no more again. That was our homeland. You see, when we was brought here, of our grand, hey, great grandmothers and our grandfathers, they we, they we was born here, like in the Barbados, in, in Spain, and, and Puerto Rico, right? And New York, and New Jersey, and Barra. We was born here, but our original place was in Jerusalem. See, they tell us that we from Africa, right? When they see a black person, they say, oh, you from Africa. The motherland is Africa, right? That's what, it says, yeah. That's what they tell us, right? Yeah. That's what they teach us in school. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, read on. Go get them. And it says, and there you shall be sold you unto shall be your what? enemies. And there you shall be sold. You shall be what? You shall be sold. Most our God said we going to be sold. So he sold us. So we didn't come, the, the so-called white man didn't take us into possession. They have no authority or power to do that. And most our God said, I'm going to sell you to your enemies for disobeying and breaking the covenant. Breaking and disobeying my laws. Read. He shall be sold unto your enemies for bondsmen and bondswomen. For what? For bondsmen and bondswomen. For what? For bondmen and bondswomen. He said you're going to be sold to your enemies for slave men and slave women. You see? So right now, we slaves here. See, our brothers don't understand that, that we under a curse that we slaves around here. A social security number is a, is a slave number. Right? It's just like they put a code it's right on your back. It's in the Declaration of Independence. Right. So we born slaves over here. When you born into captivity, they give you a prison number. So the first thing they ask you, if you go to the DMV, you go to the medical office, what's the first thing they ask you? What's your social security number? That's your whole identity. A prisoner. Read. And no man shall buy you. And what? And no man shall buy you. Michael Max. And no man shall buy you. Michael King. And no man shall buy you. Marcus Garvey. And no man shall buy you. Reverend Al Sharpton. And no man shall buy you. Jesse Jackson. And no man shall buy you. Obama. And no man shall buy you. Uh, Farrakhan. And no man shall buy you. Most of God said, ain't no man. No man. That's the key word. No human man, you man, will get you out of this captivity where I sold you in. Because the Most High God put us here. Because we did this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is why we're here. And the only way we're going to get out of this, I'm going to show you from the Bible. The only way we're going to get out of this captivity is that we got to do what the Most High God required us. Read this out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass 
if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, to what? And to do all his commandments, do so. And to do all his commandments, do part. And to do all his commandments. Most of God say to do all his commandments, brother. He never required from Israel to half step. Like, you know that, you know what that means, half stepping or water down. See, our God is not the God that watered down anything. He's not a God that's got a gray area. Like they teach in these uh, sodomite churches, these Catholic churches, these Christianity churches. He is not a God that's going to give you a gray area. He's a God that's a black or white God. He's either you're going to do what he say or command you to do, or you're going to suffer the consequences. Read. And his statutes which I command thee this day, that these curses shall come upon thee. That what? That these curses shall come upon thee. That these what? That these curses shall come upon thee. The Most High God said that these curses shall come upon us. Read. And overtake thee. And what? And overtake thee. And what? And overtake thee. He said these curses that I will send upon Israel, they're going to come upon you and they're going to overtake you. Me, we can't escape it. So, so, all right. So, speaking of this, because I, I used to go over the whole thing, you know, like, that's what we but it's also it's also fake because it's a common cold. It's not a virus. There's a difference between a common cold and a virus. It's, it's, it's like a, I understand what you're saying, but more like when you say it's fake, it's more or less like a government. Hustle. It is, and that's the Most High God. He's using the so-called white man as his battle axe. See, the Most High God is bringing judgment by means of the so-called white man that he has sent against his people because we disobeyed him. Now let's go into the curse. So the Most High God said. The Most High God said his people was going to be cursed if we did not obey the commandments that he given that He has given us. He gave his chosen people 613 commandments to obey. That's better than compared to what the United States keep passing these laws. You got over 100,000 of laws in America that you got to try to apply. We only was given 613 to follow. All right, all right, see, all right, I, I agree with what you're saying. Yep. Right? But according to times, right? Uh -huh. the way the way society and uh, everything changed. Uh huh. More or less, it's like. Okay, it's like, you said change, right? Yeah. You think our God changed? No. Right? No. no. Okay. I'm more, or less, I'm more or less just saying, like, in order to live, even if you're living and trying to be upright, certain things that you do would uh -huh. be considered, would be considered sin. But what is sin? that you have to do to live. But what is sin according to the Bible? See, you say, you say we got, people say it's small sins and big sins. But what is sin according to the Bible? Hey, sister, you know you're in sin with no pants on, right? Hey, bro. Hey, bro, pull your pants up, man. That's some respect for yourself. You know that's a homosexual trait? You know that's a homosexual trait? Huh? You know that's a homosexual trait? Give me, give me Deuteronomy 23 and 17. See, that's what's wrong with our people, man. Our people weak as hell. They don't even understand that came from a homosexual trait. No, no, don't, don't, don't let that. See, that's wrong. You want to fight somebody that looks like you, but you don't want to fight your enemy. That puts you in that state. That puts you in that state. You see, you know they had your, you, you know they had your father bent over like that? They had them have their pants hanging off their ass like a homosexual. Read this up. There shall be no whores of the daughters of Israel. There shall be no what? No whores of the daughters of Israel. Read. Nor a sodomite. Nor a sodomite, brother. The most high God said there will be no sodomites in the kingdom. So you need to be walking like a man and pull those pants up and not like a homosexual. That's right. Pull your pants up, man. Have respect for yourself and for your God. You see? That's what I'm saying. That, but you see? Give me, you know why they're going to get mad? Give me, give me Deuteronomy 28 54. You know why he wanted to fight me? This is why. He on the curse. Read that out. This is, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, this is why he wanted to fight me. Read. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. What the most high God say? The Lord shall smite thee with madness. What the most high God say? The Lord shall smite thee with madness. See, that brother is smitten with madness. You see, no, no, not that one. Give me a Deuteronomy 28 before. You see, this brother is tender and delicate. You know why brothers are tender and delicate? Because a so-called white man has whipped the, the so-called black man's ass and got him soft as hell. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 54. Read! So that the man that is tender that is among what? you, that is tender, that is what? That is tender. This brother want to fight me because I told him to pull his pants up? Read! That is tender that is among what? you, 
That is tender among you. I told you. the foolish man because that's a homosexual trait. That is tender among you. Then I told him that our ancestors was raping the slavery, that the slave master made us walk around with a pants half on our ass, letting other slave masters know that we've been had by them. Read. That is tender among you and very delicate. And very what? And very delicate. That's traits of a female, brother. This man got sensitive to I told you to pull up your pants because that's a homosexual trait. That's a female tendency to have. Oh, I'm going to beat your ass. You don't, you, you don't know me like that. You're telling me to put up my pants and be a man. Read. And his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. His what? And his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. His what? And his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Notice there, brother, that it said his eyes shall be evil towards his brother, not his enemy. That's a curse. You see, the most our God say, because we rebelled against our God, the most our God say, y'all no longer going to be loving each other like brothers no more. I'm going to turn your brother against you. He going to have an evil eye towards you. You know why? He's under the curse. That's the problem with our people, man. Give me Galatians 4 and 16. You see, this brother have animosity towards me because I tell him the truth. No, you should not be telling the high spot. You know, you've been a girl. So you know what I mean? Make right. Man look bad now, but man. Both of them look bad. Both of them in sin and most High God going to put both of them to death and they don't get right with their God. So the most High God told us to come out here and warn our people. What type of men are we all if we don't come out here and warn our people? That make us weak like them. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. Read! Am I therefore become your enemy? What about that God say? Am I therefore become your enemy? Brother, am I your enemy because I tell you to pull up your pants and stand up like a man and be a man and stop being a homosexual? That's a homosexual trait? Read! Because I tell you the truth. Because I what? Because I tell you the truth. I tell you a lie. Because I tell you the truth. I told him a lie. Because I tell you the truth. You see? That's what's wrong with our people. They are they are so quick to get big and strong against people that look like them. But a the so-called white man would have pulled right here, hit that siren, he would have kept walking straight, pulled those pants up and walking like a class A citizen. But with us, they want to fight us because we tell them the truth. But you see, the most I can say, brother, that is a curse. That is a curse. But you see, that all can be reversed. If we do this, give me Deuteronomy, I mean Deuteronomy 10 and 12. See, this is a requirement. The most our God tells us what we can do to reverse the curse. Read this, Ark. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Read! And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What the most our God say? What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? When somebody asks you, brother, what do they require of you? What do they ask of you? When they ask you what do what it, what is required of you, what does that mean? Required. You got to do. You got to do something, yeah. right? In order to make progress, in order to get to excel to what you're trying to strive to get, it's required, right? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. What most I God say? But to fear the Lord thy God. What most I God say? But to fear the Lord thy God. Read. To walk in all His ways. To what? To walk in all His ways. To what? To walk in all his ways. To have faith. To walk in all his ways. To just believe. To walk in all his ways. The Most High God say you have to walk, brother. It requires action. The Most High God don't read. He don't. He don't go by based on what we say. It's based on what we do by our actions. Give me first. Hold that there. Give me First Samuel two and two. He weighs our actions. See, they teach you these churches. All you got to do is believe in God and you good. All you got to do is say and repent from your sins and oh no, no, no. What they say? Get baptized and say I have faith in Christ and that's it. Yeah, so you don't have to do nothing. So when I said it was somewhat done. Right. I told you that I could. Right. How you required? Yeah. What is required of you? Yeah. But you, it's not living in a way that you want to live. No. You live in a way that the most high God requires yeah. you to live. Read. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 2. Read! There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none besides thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. No, let's, let's read that from the beginning again. Let's break that down. Read that again. There is none holy as the Lord. So the most our God said, there is none as holy as our God. Our God is a pure, clean, sanctified, separated from sin, separated from defilement, separated from the filth of this world type of God. Our God is a God that's going to rule with a rod of iron. He is not going to water nothing down like we water things down in the world. 
he's not going to water anything down for anybody, not even his son. He said, you're going to do what I require of you, what I command of you, or I'm going to kill you and your whole entire family. Read. For there is none besides thee, neither is there any rock like our God. There is any what? Neither is there any rock like our God. What is a rock, brother? Rock of concrete. Some solid, unmovable, unshakable. That's the type of God we serve. See, if we want to imitate, because he created us in our image, so we are created to reflect our God. So we have to be just like that in the foundations of this law. The 613 laws are moving, unshakable, solid. That means whatever doctrine come around, whatever doctrine somebody try to spit at you, they're not going to shake that foundation because you stand solid on this word of the Bible. We got to be just like our God. It, it, it describes our God like a rock. It is not our type of God they're describing these homosexual churches. He is not that white face, that pale skin, blonde hair, blue eye, Caesar Borgia they got in these churches. He is a so-called black man with an afro and a beard, according to the depiction or the description in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 15. We can get that. Read. Talk no more exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. So he said, don't talk. Hold on, that's not the one. Okay, go ahead. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. The Lord, no, the, the Lord is a God of what? Of knowledge. Of what? Of knowledge. We ain't dealing with no stupid God here. Like I tell my brother, the brothers and me say this all the time. You can't finesse the master of finesse. So you can't be a, a soothsayer with the most high God. He said, what I, what I commanded you to do, you need to do. But, but, but God, I don't, what I commanded you to do, you need to do. But God, I want to do. What I commanded you to do, you need to do. Read. And by him, actions are weighed. By him what? 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 Actions are weighed. Actions are weighed. Actions are weighed. Sister, you know what you're saying? We don't pass off since she came here because she got them, them in there. And she's going to kill a dog. <laughs> he said, the most I got said, he going to weigh your actions, brother. Actions. That's all the most I got win. He don't, you can, we can, we can speak all day and say we love God, that we going we, we love God and we do this with God, we do that with God. But give me Matthew 15 and 8. We can say we love God all day. But I'm going to show you according to the Bible, what does the love of God really mean? This is what God says love really means according to the Bible. Because you got, I guarantee all these people in these cars right here say they love God, but they probably smoking looses. Horn out they sell since of being whores on Facebook, taking ass shots on Instagram, but they say they love God. Brothers horn their sisters out, but they say they love God. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 8. Read. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. Read that again from the top. This people. This what? This people. This what? This people. So called blacks. This people. Read. This people. This what? This people. This what? This people. Read. Draw nigh unto me with their mouth. They draw what? They draw nigh unto me with their mouth. He said, This people, meaning Israel, we speak a lot. We give that good lip service. Mm -hmm. Just like in a relationship. Baby, you know I love you. Yeah. Oh, she said, Baby, you know I love you. I'll do anything for yeah, you. But yeah. by your actions, you haven't been showing me SHIT. Because it's easier to. It's easy. It's easy to speak. But actions speak louder than what? Than words. Read. And honoreth me with their lips. And what? And honoreth me with their lips. Oh, I love God. And honoreth me with their lips. I love God. And honoreth me with their lips. I love Jesus. And honoreth me with their lips. They got that good lip service. But they're not fooling the most high God. Because remember. He said, a God, our God is a rock. He stands on a solid foundation, a solid principle of these laws in this Bible. He don't care about what you say. You can get your homeboy, your wife, or your girlfriend with what you say. But with your God, you ain't getting over on him at all. He want to see by your actions at all times. Read. But their heart. But they what? But their heart. But they what? But their heart. Mind, brother. Read. It's far it's from what? me. It's far is what? It's far is what? 
is far from me. Most I gotta say, your mind is not even in accord with what you're saying. See, your mouth is saying this, but your body going left and your body going right. It's not going straight. You see? Exactly. So that's why the most I God say, by your actions, he's going to weigh your actions. And you see, a lot of our brothers out here, they say that they love the most I God, but they choose the devil. Oh, 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 oh,